Hey guys, it's uh, Mr. Burns here. Um, start a new unit next. Uh, we just finished political process and it's time for Roots of Democracy, which is going to be your founding documents, your founding ideas, uh, Declaration of Independence, Articles of Confederation, Constitution, Bill of Rights. Hopefully you've remembered this from sixth grade. If you haven't, um, hopefully you're familiar with some of these ideas. All right, so looking at your vocab chart, which is number two that you grabbed on the way in today, uh, the due dates for this will be um, Friday, December 2nd for Gold Day. Kind of doing a little reversal here. Gold Day on December 2nd, you're having a quiz on that day. And for Blue Day students, it'll be Monday, December 5th, and we'll have a quiz that day. Um, and we're doing this because we have the half day in, in, uh, right before Thanksgiving, so we're going to flip it around. Uh, that'll be a bonus day for the Blue Day, and then the bonus day for the Gold Day will be the day before winter break. And then we'll start fresh after after January uh, break. All right. So the first word that you're going to write the definition for is affirm, and this means to state as a fact or confirm. Um, so you're going to we're going to learn about this with the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. You're going to see that affirm means to state, it's a factual statement. All right. Number two is going to be amend. Amend is going to be a very important word. You see that with amendment as well, and really with amend you're looking to add something in order to make a change you might be modifying something in from the past you might be just tweaking something but it's going to add something or subtract from so when the amendments are added to the constitution to make changes all right third word domestic when you think of the word domestic you need to think of the word home so it could be domestic within your house but when we're talking about it in civics we're talking about within the United States. It's domestic. It's a domestic policy. It's a domestic um, issue. So it has to do with how we deal with things within our borders. All right, fourth word is governed. And that is just the people living underneath the government. They governed the people. Okay. And you can see this cartoon, uh, really funny, talking about government, um, giving him change and taking his wallet. Okay. People of a nation who are ruled by government are the governed. All right, turn to the next page, the fifth word is a grievance and it's a complaint uh, in the Declaration of Independence. Uh, the colonists who wanted to break away from England's rule stated grievances in the Declaration of Independence and how they were being treated unfairly by the British King and British Parliament. All right, sixth word, guarantee. It's a promise. It's uh, something that is gonna secure something like your rights or possessions Athletes do this a lot where they say, I guarantee we're going to win. Our coaches, um, 100% is one, one way that I think of uh, this word in a uh, different way. All right, so that's a guarantee. All right, next word is posterity. And it just means future generations. So right now you are the posterity of our country because eventually people your age will be adults and you'll be running our country. Okay, so posterity, future generations. Preamble. The preamble is the introduction to the Constitution, but a preamble is just an introduction to a document uh, that states why it was written, states the goals, states the big ideas. The preamble of the Constitution definitely does that, states the big ideas of the Constitution. All right, next page. Proposal. Okay, there's a wedding proposal, of course. There's prom proposals, homecoming proposals. But there, should, there will be eighth grade dance proposals later this year. But we're just talking about proposing an amendment or proposing a law. So to ask, suggest, or introduce. All right, next one. Ratify or ratification. And that's the process of confirming something. So in the process of an amendment becoming uh, part of the Constitution, two-thirds of both houses of Congress have to ratify it, approve it. And three-fourths of state governments have to approve it. That's why there's very few amendments. There's only 27 in our whole history. Um, 27 changes to the Constitution because this ratification process is very difficult. So ratify means to approve or confirm. All right. Representative. We talked about this with the Electoral College, our representatives. Someone who makes a decision on your behalf. So a representative in Virginia, we have 11 of them. We have two senators at the at the national level, okay? At the state level, they're called delegates, and we'll talk about those in Unit 5. 
But basically what they do is they, we elect people, we have a representative government to make decisions on our behalf. Otherwise we'd have to go vote every day on our way home from work or way home from school on little menial topics that they deal with. All right, reside. Okay, think of resident with this. Just take off the NT, it's resident, reside. So it's to exist, it's where something exists, where something resides, um, where it lives. So uh, you are a resident of Fairfax County in Virginia, so therefore you reside in Virginia. This could also be used outside of just actual people. This could be with concepts. So a concept could reside in something else. All right, next page, last page, last four. We got a statute, which is a written law that is formally created. We're going to talk about the um, statute for religious freedom that was written by Thomas Jefferson. That's one of our major documents. It's another word for a law, form, a law that's formally created by government. All right, so next we have tranquility, peace, relaxation. Uh, we're going to learn about in the preamble domestic tranquility, peace at home. Who does that? Police, right? And FBI and, and you know, those kind of organizations under our executive branch. So tranquility means peace or being in a state of relaxation and um, safety. All right, unalienable. Declaration of Independence declared unalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This comes from uh, John Locke, who was a philosopher during the Enlightenment, who said everyone has the ability to have life, liberty, and property. Thomas Jefferson, when we wrote the Declaration of Independence, changed that to pursuit of happiness. Unalienable, cannot be taken away. All right, and the last one is welfare, overall health and well-being. So general welfare, promote the general welfare. It's one of the goals of the government. That's what President Obama passed the Affordable Health Care Act because he felt that all people deserve a chance at uh, health, health insurance, okay? Overall health and well-being. Okay, again, reminder, this is due December 2nd for Gold Day, December 5th for Blue Day. There will be a quiz that day. Um, make sure you complete this with colored pictures and your own definition by those dates. Do not use the same pictures that I used. Use unique pictures, okay? Off the internet, draw. You can, you can look at something and draw it, whatever you want to do, but uh, it has to be unique to you, okay? Thank you.